Uh, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to set up a PC. You're going to need a number of things. Well, first of all you're going to need a mouse, here. The second thing you're going to need is the power cable for the PC. Then you're going to need a keyboard. And also it's optional but it's very useful. You could have a webcam. The most important thing you're going to need is the PC itself with all the connections at the back here. And then the next thing, which is equally important, is the monitor, if you can see up here. The number of connections that come with it, this is the VGA cable. Then you've got the line-in cable. And then you've got the power supply, which is here. But you have to be careful with these two because it looks very similar to the power supply for the actual PC. The first thing that I'm going to do is to plug in the power supply cable into the back of the PC and then into the socket. Obviously don't turn anything on yet because you haven't connected everything up. So. Right, you go to the back of your PC and you should see these three little prongs here. And that'll align with the sort of socket bits there on the cable. So this goes in here, like that, and just push that in till it's all the way and it can't go any further. Then obviously you're just going to get the plug and push it into the socket over here. But obviously I can't reach the socket at the moment because the way I've got it out, but that's what you're going to do. The next part, over here, you can do it in any order really, but this is the way I'm all trying to do it, is to get the mouse and plug it into the green socket which is here like that I mean, it's, those mouses now are going to be USB so they're going to go in here, these sockets just here, but this is quite an old setup so, and then the next bit is to get the keyboard, and again this is this now will come with a USB but this is an old keyboard, so this will go into the purple socket here, so that goes in there, and as I said with the mouse it can go into the USB, probably, if it's newer. Right, that's the end of step one. In the next part of this video I'm going to be connecting the display to the PC down here. For that, the first thing we're going to need is this cable here, which is the AC cable. This is going to provide the power. So, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to plug it into the AC in slot on the back. I've turned the monitor like this because it's much easier to see the slot. So, can you see that slot there? You're going to push that in here. Slot that in there and push it in as far as it can go, which is as far as it can go. The next thing that we're going to need is the line in cable, which is this green cable here. That goes right next to the AC in on the display and it will go into the little green slot like that and then the next bit we're going to do is to get the VGA cable and put that into the VGA slot like this as I say it's much easier doing it like that so that's in now and that's how you connect the monitor then, that's, we need to get these actually into the back of the PC, so I'm going to put the line in first. So if we come down here to the PC, we have to find the green slot, which is down here, in between the blue and the red. So we put that in there, like that. Then we need to get the VGA cable, which we've had up here. And that end needs to go into the back of the PC as well. So we're going to plug the VGA end into this blue port here. So we're going to plug that in there, like this. There we go. So that's in now. All the way in, and that's how you connect up the monitor. In the last step of the video, I'm going to be showing you how to just plug in optional extras really, so such as a webcam which is very useful. 
So these things come with USB, and so you put that into the USB port at the front or the back. It doesn't matter as long as they make sure it's the right way around. So you plug that in there, like that. And if it's the first time you've done it, it's probably going to install the drivers for you. So it used to come with discs, but that doesn't happen anymore. So yeah, that'll be set up on either sat down like that, or you can even open it up like that and put it on top of the screen, which is probably the preferred way of doing it. I'm just going to go like that, over the top. And that'll turn on when you've turned the PC on. In the last step of this video, I'm going to be explaining how you connect to the internet. First of all, you're going to need to get one of these. It's the Ethernet cable. And this needs to, first of all, plug into the back of your PC. Right, there should be a port next to some of the USB ports here. And that's where this Ethernet cable is going to plug in. So you don't just push that in and it'll click like that. Now the other end is going to need to go into the back of your hub, like BT Home Hub if you're with BT, or depending on who you're with, it's different. So that's the internet connected, and the last thing we just simply need to do is turn it on. So you just press the button. And there you go, it should come up on the screen now, with the starting whatever version of Windows you've got, it'll turn on. So as you can see, it's Windows XP. Uh, thank you for watching.